continuing to follow developments out of parts of the South and Midwest. That's where more than 100 people are feared dead from a line of powerful storms that all but flattened multiple towns overnight. And sad new details are emerging from storms here in Missouri. The latest details we're learning about the victims of that tornado. KCTV 5 News stands for you. Thank you for joining us for KCTV 5 News at 6 today. I'm Greg Payne. Last night, a major storm system moved across several states, including Missouri, where we've just learned a young child is among those who were killed. Missouri Governor Mike Parson confirmed those details this afternoon. KCTV 5 is told that child was found inside of a heavily damaged home in rural area in Missouri's Boot Heel. At least one other person, an 84 year old woman, was found dead in St. Charles County near St. Louis. At least 10 other people across eastern Missouri have been hurt. The most significant damage by far is found in Kentucky today. Entire cities have been left in shambles. Several were all but flattened. And take a look at this. This is satellite video that shows this devastating line of storms stretching across state lines. Kentucky's governor says one tornado stayed on the ground for an incredible 227 miles, possibly more. Jenna Ray reports from Edwardsville, Illinois, where an Amazon warehouse collapse has killed at least six people. At daybreak, the widespread devastation across Mayfield, Kentucky could be seen for miles. A deadly tornado late Friday virtually destroying the downtown area while massive storms left damage across many neighboring states. This has been the most devastating tornado event in our state's history. The level of devastation is unlike anything I have ever seen. Uh, you see parts of industrial buildings, roofs or sidings in trees if trees are lucky enough to stand. Dozens are feared dead after the twister tore through Kentucky for more than 200 miles. The toll is expected to climb as rescuers search through rubble around the region. But today we're going to focus on those who have lost so much. And that's where our hearts are. President Biden addressed the nation Saturday in the tornado's aftermath. Jill and I pray, and I'm sincerely mean this, pray for those who've lost loved ones and for those who are uncertain of the fate of their loved ones. Here in Edwardsville, Illinois, about 15 miles east of St. Louis, the roof blown off this Amazon warehouse behind me. In addition, a wall the size of a football field collapsed during the massive storm. This new employee was returning to the building from her route when a dispatcher warned her to stay away. It was very overwhelming, you know, my very, very first day I had to encounter, you know, something I've never you know, encountered before, and it's just experience in it that I will never forget. Amid the damage across the region, more than a dozen people were trapped inside this nursing home in Arkansas as the building collapsed. I'm Jenna Ray for CBS News, Edwardsville, Illinois.